Okay, hope you enjoyed the, the video. Before starting with uh, try to build the same project we saw now in the video, I want to show you quickly what you can find inside the Xcube Azure RTOS you have installed on your PC. The list of demos available for the H723, for the nuclear H723 ZG that are using today are only two. So the TCP Echo Server and the TCP Echo Client. But in terms of H7, generally speaking, the list of examples is bigger. You have not only the TCP Echo Server and Client, but we have also the UDP Echo Server and Client. You have a web server example with a real file system on a real device like an SD card. This is very nice. Another nice demo is the one that I told you before, so the MQTT client. You can start from this MQTT client and try to build something uh, very nice, for example, for the sensor. And the final one is the SNTP client. So you can connect your board to a router that is on the web, that is connected to the internet. And then uh, after contacting uh, an, an SNTP server, you are able to set the time and the date of your board. And this is mandatory, for example, if you work with a real file system, because you need the time and the date when you create a file. Um, this is for the H7. Generally speaking, this is the full list of examples inside the middleware folder that Microsoft gives you. Uh, you can see that all of the layer are covered from BSD, MQTT, DHP, the DNS, the file transfer, the HTTP client, the SMTP, so the POPs if you want to send or receive an email, the telnet, the multicast DNS, very nice if you want to discover what's going on around you, around your device in terms of other device, in terms of what they offer as a service. You have the NAT, the PPP and so on. So this is a, a more complete list.